in Spain if the Philippines are so good? If I have to explain this once more, <laughs> um, the kids are here for education, also the EU passports. We want to travel more. To do it, we need the EU passports. The education system here is fantastic in comparison to what's available in the Philippines. Zoe has autism, so she needs a lot of um, proactive education. Our kids are private in the Philippines, but the school has its limitations. The kids are at primary age. Ubi started school at his first available primary age here in Spain. Basically, he's in his first class that the primary school starts. Now, he's been in school in the Philippines since he was two. So he was already way ahead of the kids here um, because he's already done mathematics and other stuff that the kids haven't even looked at yet. Um, but the reality is the kids are here for education. The Spanish school system is pretty good. The fact that the kids are already speaking Spanish as well as Visaya, Tagalog, English, um, they're multilingual. Get kids multilingual at an early age, that's already a career move in its own. Doesn't matter how much the internet will move on over the next decade, legal documents will still need to be checked by somebody that understands the um, legal system in both languages or how many languages. Um, a friend of mine is currently doing, his daughter is just doing a Spanish course on notes for the court system here in Spain. The reality is there is always a market for languages. Reality is the EU passport will open up most of the world to us. Reality is why Spain? Because Spain is giving me the bits of the world I'm interested in. I like Latin America, I like um, some of the Spanish former colonies. So for me, there's a lot of opportunities there for, for traveling, a lot of beautiful places. Teaching English, as you know, I'm doing a TESOL course. All those countries love native English speakers. Opportunity to work anywhere. Another thing people miss is they think me as an English teacher. There's two of us. So when you think the salary is low, which is comes in about 1,200 euros a month, we're actually at 2-4, which is not a bad salary. We only need uh, about 1,000 euros a month to live on. So when you're taking your 10% tax, uh, sorry, 20% tax, um, we're still walking away with roughly 2,000 a month, and we've got 1,000 a month extra. That doesn't include money we make on YouTube. doesn't include money I make on my other online stuff. It's our basic living. So that's what I'm developing at the moment. The Philippines will still be the Philippines. We can always go back to there anytime. The Philippines doesn't need or need the visa stuff. The Philippines doesn't need to worry about languages, etc. The Philippines lacks the opportunities for the kids. Um, for me, even I'm stuck in Spain at the moment anyway, while we're doing the visa stuff. But I could hop to the UK. There's a demand for my services and facilities management, even in Spain, um, once I get my head around the Spanish language. What I do in facilities management, there's a demand globally. Um, there's a lot of idiots and not a lot, of, not a lot of smart people. So there's always a shortage of people that actually know what they're doing, um, which is why I don't struggle for work doing that but I'm trying to stay at home more um, for example I applied for a job in Madrid recently um, in facilities management still waiting to hear but it's a international company um, but even Madrid is a fair jaunt from here because it'd be by train or plane but the whole point here is the kids education is paramount that's the most important thing for me then there's the the passports and after that we'll just see where it goes now why isn't the Philippines why is the Philippines so great that, um, that we're still in Spain there's your reasons 
If I were single, I'd be in the Philippines. If I was just a couple, I may still be in Spain because to, I'll be honest, I think a, a, very different to a lot of expats. I don't understand why a lot of people only think about themselves. This is why they get relationship issues because they don't give a damn about their partners. My wife is important to me. My wife is my lifelong partner. As such, we invest in each other. We invest time. We invest emotionally. We invest everything in each other. So if I can give my wife access to the world, to Europe, why not? And I know a lot of other guys will go, oh, you're taking your partner to the West. Oh, that's high risk. Um, but I also say... Because a lot of people are so paranoid about going to the West, you're already planting a root of destruction of some description. You, you've already said, well, we're not going with this, that ain't happening, etc. Now, my wife was quite happy in the Philippines anyway, which is the, the odd thing here that people may not be aware of. My wife wasn't bothered about coming to Europe at all. Um... It was just a case of back in 2007, when we were looking at getting married, I said we would come to Europe. In the same way, I want to bring my mother-in-law to go and visit the Vatican, because it's a big thing for my mother-in-law. Um, these are things that are important to me. You know, a lot of people go, oh, yeah, but that's like, oh, that costs so much money. Why are you doing Because I don't think, I, I'm happy. I, I mean, this is the big thing. Too many people are absorbed about money. I can't give a damn about money. So what what I care about is people being happy. And we have a lifestyle where I see the kids every day. And we go and do what we want most of the time. We, we're about break-even financially at the moment. But at the same time, so what? We're still working on all this stuff in the background. The grim reality here is we do what we want the the lifestyle we have is about enjoying life it's not about getting rich if i wanted to get rich it involves too much time i can't be bothered with it the easiest route for me to become wealthy is just concentrate on facilities management and just sit there and just do another decade in a job i hate um but i don't like doing it I like I like doing contracts that are complete shambles and fixing them, um, but I'm not a nine to five person. I don't want to go and run a facilities. Um, I want to fix them. You know, I want to get a contract running. I like going in like do three months solid and that's it for the year. I don't like these. Oh well, we start at nine. And we finish at 5 and have a break at 10.30. Lunch time's 12 till 1. I'm not one of those. I may, I'll get in, get it done and get out. Which is why even when I, I fixed the housing association a while back, I was in at 6 in the morning and I was still there at 10 at night. Two weeks later, a six-month backlog was gone. The work was being done as it came in. Why? Because I intensely fixed it. Because why you're not putting those hours in, it's just building up and building up. But, hey ho, it's all about what you want to do in life. Um, currently, I'm interested in teaching English. Not just from a financial point of view, but also, it's interesting meeting new people. I've had two students so far. Um, one's a 10-year-old girl, it's quite funny, and another is a a business owner um, in Vietnam. So it's interesting because you're meeting new people. Uh, that's what I like doing. I like networking with people anyway, but also I like helping other people. This is why the YouTube stuff is here because it's about helping. I mean, at the end of the day. You put your life through a lens, literally. Um, and you do get the odd more one sending you stupid nonsense now and again. But at the same time, the amount of people that have actually benefited over the years 
it's been huge. I don't even know how many people. Um, I just get this odd, these odd messages sometimes where people have actually got married or met somebody or um, took the leap to another country or sorted their business out. Whatever it is, it's, it's nice to know that it come from actually watching some of the videos I made. That's for me. That's that's what it's about. Um, anyway, I'm going to go back to bed. I got up early this morning because I was. I got up to do something, and I thought I'll have a cup of tea, and then so I'm sat doing these videos. But I'm going to go back to bed. Right, thanks for watching.